Happy Friday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. So if this is the first time you're tuning into my page, I welcome you. So what we do on Fridays is we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate. So if you haven't celebrated yourself today yet, make sure that you take some time to say good job self, because you know what? You're worthy of celebrating. So today I titled my message with a question, who has your attention or your affection? So today's message was really inspired by um, a segment that I listened to on um, from a marriage seminar that was going on live, but we, you know, we heard a little bit of it. And really, he talked more about marriages, and but he talked about the relationship with Christ and our marriages. But I want to ask this question to you, whether you're married, whether you're single, whether you're divorced, it doesn't matter. Just this is an individual thing that I want you to ask yourself and to think about. So who has your affection, your attention? Because he said the person that you, you know, whoever, whatever you give your attention to the most is what owns you. So on a day-to-day -day basis, where is your time spent the most? Do you spend more of your time worshiping your children? You know, spending more time with your husband, spending more time on your business, spending more time, you know, making money. What is it that has a hold on you? Because when you become um, a believer in Jesus Christ, guess what we do? We say we surrender our lives to him meaning that he is number one in everything that we do. Everything is centered around our relationship with Christ, right? So where is your your time spent the most? When you can think about on a day-to-day -day basis, what has your attention? What owns you? Because whatever you give the most time to is what has a grip on you. And I thought, ooh, you know, this is a really good thing for us to think about. It's good for us to take inventory. It's good for us to say, you know what, when was the last time I actually um, showed any, my affection towards God? When was the last time you told him you loved him? When was the last time you thanked him for the things that are going on in your life? For just even having the breath of, you know, having breath every single day. Being able to move, being able to, to, to think, being able to just do the things. You know, he deserves the glory so ask yourself the question, who has your affection or your attention? Because whatever it is that you, that you spend the most time doing, that's the thing that you worship. And this is what he said too. He said, your worship is the most valuable possession in your home. Your, your worship is the most valuable possession in your home. So what has your affection? What do you give number one um, priority to instead of giving it to, to God? So I thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps and I will see you tomorrow.